My topic for today is uh, the psychology of the internet troll. This is an article in the uh, theconversation.com website dated September 16, 2020. The text and red are highlighted from the article. I want to use yellow color as a highlighter, but I cannot see yellow very well. The text and blue are my comment. I am going to read the definition of a troll, then I will see if I have the characteristic of a troll. There are many different kinds of troll. Some troll want to get a laugh. Troll just want to have fun. Some trolls want to cyberbully other people. Trolls are antisocial. Trolls want to irritate people. Some lies to people. Some want to mislead people. Some like to deceive people. Some think they themselves as a great actor. Here in the article it reads, In my most recent study, conduct with Genevieve Steele, I wanted to see if trolling could be linked to self-esteem. Do people troll because they have low self-worth? What is trolling? In scientific literature, internet trolling is defined as malicious online behavior characterized by aggressive and deliberate provocation of others. Trolls seek to provoke, upset, and harm others via inflammatory messages and posts. A troll is a person who starts arguments and upset people by posting in an online platform with intent to provoke readers into an emotional response. Many people may label my behavior as malicious, seeking to provoke, upset, and harm others via inflammatory messages and posts. Internet troll is a person who deliberately attempt to create conflict and distress by communicating inflammatory, provocative, and menacing comments. He is antisocial and malicious. He creates calm and to distress the victim. He hides behind an anonymity. He is a sadistic, antisocial psychopath. He lacks empathy. He lacks the ability to feel how someone would feel. He knows no remotes. He show no remorse when he hurt someone's feelings. Trolling can refer to a variety of online behavior. In some circumstances, the intent of the trolling behavior may even be to amuse and entertain. Somehow, however, in my research, I have explored trolling as a but, but mal. Mm. Malevolent, malevolent behavior where the troll want to hurt the online victim. I, I, may, I may want to hurt online victim. I don't think that I do. In my latest study, I explored gender, psychopathy, sadism, and self-esteem as predictor of engaging in malevolent, malevolent uh, trolling. Psychopathy is characterized by callousness, deceitfulness, and a lack of personal responsibility. Sadism is characterized by enjoyment of physically and or psychologically harming other people. The study also measured the extent to which participants display troll-like behavior. For example, I enjoy upsetting people I do not personally know on the internet. Although some people think my posts are offensive, I think they're funny. What the study found. Results show that gender, psychopathy, and sadism were all significant independent predictors of malevolent trolling. That is, if you are male, have high psychopathy or high sadism, you are more likely to troll. The most powerful predictor of trolling was sadism. The more someone enjoys hurting others, 
the more likely it is they will troll. Self-esteem was not an independent predictor of trolling. However, we found self-esteem in the act with sadism. So, if a person has high level of sadism and high self-esteem, they are more likely to troll. This result was unexpected because low self-esteem has predicted other anti-social online behavior such as cyberbullying. A troll know what will cause distress in other people, but is unable to know the distress he is causing. He is a sadist. A sadist can be either direct or indirect. He enjoys hurting or humiliating other people. He also enjoys seeing people being humiliated. A troll is characterized by these three traits psychopathy, sadism, and grandiose narcissism. He is socially awkward, introverted, and shy. He does not need recognition. He enjoys causing social mayhem. Some men are just, they just want to see the world burn. First, based on the result of psycho, psychopathy and sadism, we understand the internet troll as someone who is callous, lack a sense of personal responsibility and enjoy causing others harm. The significance of psychopathy in the result also indicates trolls have an empathy deficit, particularly when it comes to the ability to experience and internalize other people's emotions. On top of this, the, inter the interaction between high sadism and, and high self-esteem suggests trolls are not trolling because they have low self-worth. In fact, this is quite the opposite. The more someone enjoys hurting others, the better they feel about themselves, the more likely they are to troll. Unfortunately, the psychological profile of an internet troll means you will not get far appealing to the sense of humanity. And don't just brush off the troll as someone who has low self-worth. Their character is far more complex which makes managing the behavior all the more challenging. It appears the proper refrain is correct. Don't feed the troll and don't give them the hurt or angry response they are looking for. I propose we change the narrative. Trolls are not to be feared. Their power lie in the reaction they cause. One way we can start is to become an active bystander. Bystander are those who witness the trolling. Active bystander intervene and say, this is not okay. Don't fight fire with fire. Respond with outward indifference and strict no intolerance. No, no tolerance. Respond with the outward indifferences and strict no tolerance. Let's work together to dismantle the power of the troll and take back the internet from their influence. Why I am an internet troll? I want to discuss social issues that are not permitted in the open market of idea. We suppress freedom of speech, Google, Facebook, and Twitter. Suppress freedom of speech. If you don't support Black Lives Matter, you get kicked out of social media. If you don't support critical race theory, the left will shut you down. Facebook suppresses climate change, misinformation on COVID-19, and election fraud of 2020. Thank you. If you have any comment or question, write them down.